Hey guys, good morning, good afternoon, wherever the hell you are. Hollywood Zoom, thank you for joining me. So today I'm gonna be getting my hair braided. Shout out to Alyssa Ashley because she put me onto this hairstylist. And I think this is the same hairstylist, if I remember correctly, that did Jasmine Brown's hair about a year ago. Her name's Dr. Carrie. So Dennis and I are planning a birthday trip. He doesn't know where we're going. Like I haven't told him anything. I just told him, you'll need your passport and swim trunks. And like other clothes, obviously. So I kind of thought, you know, I've really, really been thinking about braiding my hair to have a protective style for this particular trip because traveling with wigs is so stressful. So I'm gonna be doing that today. I'm actually getting twists, not braids. And to be honest, a lot of people were talking crap about this particular lady because she's expensive. She is expensive, I will say that. But like all of the hoopla on Twitter today that I've seen of them talking trash about what Alyssa paid to get her hair done just reminded me, oh, I actually need to get my hair done too. I'm super excited. It's been years since I've had my hair braided and you guys will just be getting ready with me today, following me along. I just wanted to switch it up, do this vlog style because why the hell not? This video is also done in partnership with Dermalogica and I'm gonna be doing some skincare before we get into the makeup so Shall we go? Okay, let's go. Can we also, real quick though, I'm obsessed with the Savage Fenty robes. I just started wearing the burgundy one this week. I started with olive green and the pink one and then I went back and bought a whole bunch more colors but these are so cute and comfortable. Do I look like I'm enjoying this? It's cause I am. Don't forget that hairline girl. And that chin sis. I especially like to really kind of massage it around my nose. This is my problem area. Don't be too harsh though. Be gentle. She's gentle to you. I'm gonna do some toning. So basically you just saw me wash my face with the Dermalogica Special Cleansing Gel. And I actually started using this about two-ish years ago. I started slowly with Dermalogica. The Special Cleansing Gel was one of the first products that I used from their line. Um, aside from their Daily Microfoliant and then also their Pre-Cleanse, which I'm going to demonstrate a little bit later. They actually reached out to me and they were like, oh, we'd love for you to take a tour of our facilities and like get to know the brand. I had no knowledge of the brand whatsoever. And mind you, this was in like 2016 so not recent you guys but it was a really really cool meeting I had with them and I just remember some of the standout things for me was that a lot of my esthetician friends use them and recommend them it has kind of like that cosmeceutical vibe and what I mean by that is it's not just a bunch of fragrance and stuff that isn't actually going to transform your skin when I look for skincare products I look for transformative stuff I want to see results I don't just want frou-frou scents and lollipops I think people just kind of assume face wash is just face wash and like you know not every minute detail of your skincare routine matters. That's a lie. That's a freaking myth, okay? I'm gonna tell you that's not true. Your face wash matters, your serum matters, okay? It all matters. It all makes a difference. So this bad boy right here, the Special Cleansing Gel, is a soap-free face cleanser that doesn't strip my skin of its natural oils and make my skin go haywire and break out. It's super gentle and it's also good enough to lift, you know, traces of makeup. Like, I don't really have a ton of face washes that I can use on my bare skin and after makeup. Some are a little strong than others so I only use them to like really get the makeup off but that one I can actually use morning and night without feeling overly dry and I like the fact that it foams even though it is soap free it actually does go into a nice rich luxurious lather and what you guys saw me doing at the sink is when I wash my face I wash my face for 60 seconds okay I actually learned this from LA Beautyologist on Twitter she always gives some really dope tips um, just that you can implement with whatever products you're using and she recommends that you wash your face for 60 60 seconds because when you do it too quickly without realizing it most people wash their face for like 10 20 seconds I know I probably was doing that for years and um, when you don't really give the face wash enough time to you know do what it's actually supposed to do like there's a reason why when you go to get a facial they take forever honey so 60 seconds and the way that I keep track of the 60 seconds is by singing the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air in my head while I'm washing my face so as you're working on that lather now this is a story all of my, all my life I've got to sit upside down. I can't twerk. What am I doing? But yeah, girl, after about 60 seconds with that gentle gel, they should call the special cleansing gel special gentle get your life gel because I really like it so much. I actually wanted to shout out another one of my favorite products. I'm not going to use it now. I'm going to use it later. Um, as you guys know, I don't use like grainy face scrubs anymore. I only use the ones that like melt in water. So the daily microfoliant bomb and she's gentle enough to actually be used every day, which is nice. And I am due for a good exfoliant. So I'll be demoing that later. I'll put on some under eye cream. I'm getting late already. Dang. Dermalogica also claims that they're one of the first brands to start double cleansing. And I just want to say shout out to whoever the hell 
gel invented it because girl, like remember the days of pumping out a whole gallon of face wash in hopes that it will remove whatever your makeup wipe couldn't get off. Those days are over sis, over. I also forgot to mention that when I went to their headquarters, they actually have like a school there. So estheticians can go there to get like further education, not only on the products, but like in their career into their own private businesses. I know um, that was really cool. I really value the skincare brands that place a lot of importance on like education and making sure that their products gets into the hands of educators because you know of educators and professionals like dermatologists, estheticians, you know that if they're using the product and being educated on the product, then it's doing something. All right, well, that's pretty much my quick skincare routine. I don't really have a ton to do today. I'm gonna run some errands. I'm gonna have lunch and then get my face beat and get ready to get my hair braided. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so ready to eat. This is literally my favorite restaurant right now. Greek salad and chicken kebab. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, by the way, this is my food. This is my food. Can you smell it? Can you smell it? Smell it. Oh, it smells good. It's a charbroiled chicken shish kebab. And I don't know what kind of rice this is, but it's good. As much as I love their food, sometimes I feel like it's so healthy that you're just getting chicken and like not very much seasoning. So I just take a little bit of Lowry garlic salt. Every black person has lorries in their cabinet somewhere. Just to give it a little kick, a little cayenne pepper. May have gone overboard, but you can judge your mother. You won't be judging me today. So y'all have never had Mediterranean food until you try this. Oh, it's golden hour. The lighting is so pretty right now. If only I had my face beat. So, ooh, it's four o'clock. Mm -hmm. I got my hair appointment. I gotta check my P.O. box. My girl's working on that right now. Mm, 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 mm. Jump on there, jump on there. What I like about this is it's just guilt-free food, man. You know, I get full, but I don't feel like, like I'm gonna just fall over and my stomach will explode. I don't feel like that after I eat this food, but it's delish. You guys, I actually talked about this on Insta Story. I'm so, so, so serious about this, but I was actually thinking about starting a segment on my channel called Mask Bongs. Basically, like, it would just be kind of like a fun play on mukbangs with food, but instead I would do it with masks. And like, not every week, but like, it would just be fun to like talk while I put on a mask. And it'd be a different mask every video, but I just thought it'd be fun. What do you guys think? Oh my God, I just got a freaking really annoying DM. I'm not even gonna talk about it. We're going to move on, have a positive day, and get ready. I'm gonna keep today's beat cute because I really don't want to do extra extra. I'm just running errands. <laughs> Maybe a light lash. So I'm putting on my primer from NARS. It's so much easier doing my makeup and I don't have to worry about the wigonomics of it all. Mm. What the hell was that? Did you hear that? Rhinoceros source sound effect. Mm. Today's gonna be a NARS kind of day. Francois NARS is my second cousin. He just doesn't know it yet. Francois NARS is Nigerian. I'm gonna mix natural radiant long wear. <laughs> a little bit of sheer glow. My body, your body, my body. My body, your body, my body. Do you see how that just melts like butter? I'm gonna do some color correcting. This is Cafe Radiant Creamy. It's like my skin tone color, but like pink, red. Y'all think I should try going bald? I kind of like putting on makeup with like the nothingness, the bareness of my face. Or should I say my hairline? Now I'm adding almond. This is my highlight shade. I gotta film in like two mirrors in front of me. One zoom and one regular so I can cross reference. How do I look in 4K? Bam! And then how do I look from 10 feet away? Because you are not gonna get this close. But I just wanna make sure the concealer is still blended. Somebody commented on my video the other day talking about you was talking about Black History Month and I just saw you wear Gucci the other day. Girl, bye. She deleted that comment so fast when I responded. Knowing full well, you either got me confused with someone else, Miss Lady, or you lied because she really was telling people that I was wearing Gucci. I wasn't, okay. I wasn't. I'm gonna add my bronzer. I be going in on my forehead now. I like it when it's like really, really heavily bronzed because I feel like everything around it pops more. Everything around it highlights more. I ain't doing no eyeshadow today, y'all. Y'all ain't getting no eyeshadow from me. I ain't got time for that. I'm already gonna be late to my appointment. 6.15 was really being generous, but I feel like I'm gonna be done at 6.15. I need to hurry! And I definitely don't have time for shadow, which I don't really need anyway, so it's fine. My unfilled and brows don't be looking too bad now. Come on, somebody. Oh, my cheekbone highlight, sorry. <laughs> Ooh, that looks so good. Okay, I think I'm actually make it. If I could just get my brows on. Because I'm not wearing shadow, I'm gonna at least put some concealer on just to kind of, you know, even it out. 
and a little bronzer in my crease. This is called that Bare Minimum Beat, honey. I can finally bring this out of hiding. Look what Auntie Pat gave me in Tokyo. Look at this, look at this. This is so cool. It's her coveted mascara. The fetish size mascara is already out, girl. So now I can finally actually show it on camera, but I got this in November. I love the brush head, it's bomb. I'm gonna take some of my La Peach and just dust her over the center of my eyes like beautiful little jewels just right at the center. Just paint, honey. And I like to layer it up so I don't dip, like dunk my brush in there and really go in. Like I start off with a little and then build my way up. Cause I just feel like it looks prettier that way. What blush do I want to wear? Hmm. I'm going to wear Morena Beauté. The color is number two sweet brown. Oh my God, this color is so pretty. It's a coral orange. And look at this. Look at how much color I got on the first pat. Did you see that? Did you witness that? I really almost forgot my inner corner highlight. What the hell is wrong with me? Am I trying it with this brush? It's big. Okay, we're gonna do it anyway. Yeah, I did try it, but it's kind of working. It's not the most ideal, but it'll do for now. Let me cover my eyes before my mascara ends up everywhere but my eyelashes. I'm gonna put on a little bit of my mirrored gloss from Dior. This is so gorgeous. And that's my cute quick beat. What do you guys think of my lashes? Love, get the hell out of here, I gotta go. All right, I'm like really pushing every time, I gotta go. Not one of my proudest moments, forgot to put on lotion, but okay, I'm in a hurry, don't judge me. Okay, that was a cute little drive. That was a cute little drive. Yeah, that was cute. Oh, <laughs> hey lighting. I have to take some selfies. Wait a minute. I'm really here taking selfies, y'all. Like dead ass. As my friends from New York like to say. So this is the queen, Dr. Carrie herself. Hey. I'm so excited. Shout out to Alyssa for putting this on because yes. I honestly, it's so hard finding like really nice, reliable salons like in LA. So I'm so excited to be here for the first time. Can you just real quick brag real quick on some of your clients, please? Because I'm incredibly impressed and okay, like. Okay, okay, okay. Well, first we gotta start with my girl, Brandy. The Brandy. The Brandy, <laughs> because I used to want Brandy braids. Now I do Brandy braids. Definitely Miss Ava DuVernay. I just love her. I'm currently working with her. I've worked with Sierra. I've had a chance to work with Tyra. Ooh. Yes. Ooh. Um, After that lineup, you can take regular old me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> hey, Inches. This is really what I gotta deal with right now. I don't know how y'all got my address, but thank you. Ooh. Vacation shoes. Um, hi. I just wanted to know, did I get the job or nah, ho? Nah, you ain't get the job. Try Home Depot, bye! I just bought this super cute skirt, and I have matching shoes in a bag, you guys. The way this matched, though? Nah, 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 the bag, the skirt, sis, the shoes, sis! Not from the same collection, y'all. This is all from different designers. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Aw, oh, man, come on. I'm just making sure everything fits okay. I'm so freaking proud of you, Whitney. AKA Natural 85 I just ordered her first launch from her Melanin Hair Care line. I don't even know what it is. I just bought all of it. Thanks for the slippers, P. Thomas Roth. Shout out to y'all. So I bought this tote bag and it's really cute because it's completely clear. I love completely clear things, obviously. I don't know, it feels more like a beach bag. Shout out to Dominique Cosmetics. Oh, <gasps> so pretty. We have four new liquid lippies. Uh-oh. This is so cute. Aaliyah Army. So freaking cute. Ooh, she got that good print too. Girl, she got money. I'm not gonna lie, you guys. I don't know how I feel about this just yet. The packaging's kind of interesting. It's very vintage. This reminds me of like the stuff that I used to see when I was like really, really young, like 10 years old. This is the new Naked Reloaded. They're trying to revamp the whole Naked series and stuff or whatever's. I mean, I feel like the only thing that I'm really interested in is here. Like this strip here, the dark brown, the coral, the gold, and the matte coral. I don't know. I don't know 
if this one's for me. So Anastasia just came out with some new brow gels and of the total launch, they sent me all of them. These are the ones that I'm gonna keep and play around with. I'm gonna just play around. I see kind of like a reddish chocolatey brown, a really dark ashy brown. Where do you think you're going? Then I have like a grayish taupe one, another dark brown, a medium brown, a dark brown. Okay, it's starting to look way better. The bar is starting to look back to normal. I bought some new boots, some new casual boots I can wear every day. So freaking cute. And these are mad comfortable too. These boots listen to Rico Nasty. These boots just spit on me and told me don't breathe the same air as me. These boots just told me get the hell out of my way. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now wait a minute. I had no idea Misty Copeland partnered with Under Armour and came out with a collab. I don't know how y'all got my address, but this stuff is high key bangers. Do you see these leggings? These are so freaking cute. And I wish you guys can feel how soft, you know Under Armour is serious, right? These feel so luxe and so high quality. Wow. And lastly, some of my remaining vacation fits from Pretty Little Thing. So I bought these snakeskin pants and they're a little more flimsy, I guess you could say, but you know what, we'll walk around it. This outfit gonna have me mopping my damn floor for the next three months. Look how sparkly it is. I didn't see that in the promo photo, Pretty Little Thing. It's kinda cute though. How cute is this? Look! With the flipped out bob wig though, I won't be able to wear it for about a month, but you see where I'm going with this. This is, ow, ow. Is this cute? It's like a burnt orange, fun toffee color. But wait, there's more. Well, there's a matching top with a utility belt at the bottom. How cute is this though? A little oversized cropped sweater. And of course, I can't neglect this personalized luggage YouTube gave me. This is so cool, I love this. So packing for this trip is just a little bit challenging. And the reason I say that is this is like the first vacation, vacation, vacation that Dennis and I have taken in I think a really long time where like we don't have any work things. It's not a brand trip. We're not there for like less than two days, like a staycation. This is like our first vacation in a long time. With that being said, usually when you go on a brand trip, every single daily activity is outlined. Whereas this is not because I'm just kind of a paint by numbers kind of girl. You know, it's kind of like to play things by the ear. You know, I'm spontaneous, you know, whoa. What curveball can life hand us today? So with that being said, it's much more challenging to pack. But you know what? I'm gonna just bring as many bikinis as I possibly can. And all I know is I don't have to pack no hair stuff. So that saves me a ton of room and a ton of headache. Dennis refuses to empty out the lint trap. But of course, of course he didn't. You know, funny story, when I was a kid, our garage caught on fire from not emptying the lint trap. Dennis, if you're watching this, learn something from this. Just washing my PJs. Oh, another day, another full night spent packing. It's like 5.30 in the morning. So it's late as hell. The last thing I'm trying to do is be in here for 30 minutes trying to get rid of all my makeup. And especially the fact that I've been wearing this all day, I have to be very thorough because I'm a perfectionist. This is the pre-cleanse that I was talking about earlier from Dermalogica. The first thing that you do before going into your face wash, you're gonna apply it on a dry face. So keep your makeup just like that. Remove your lashes, of course, if you're wearing any. So I'm gonna pump it into my hands. That was about three pumps. And then rub it into my face and this is very basically just gonna break down all of the makeup and oil before we actually wash our face. And guys, the 60 second rule applies to pre-cleansing too. So I do this for one minute. Right here, again, work that through my problem area where my pores tend to be cutting up the most, act up, you can get snatched up. This can pretty much break up anything, makeup, excess, sebum, sebum sunscreen, then you rinse, and you make sure you rinse until the water is clear. You can also do that with a washcloth. It just depends on how quick you're trying to be. Now I'm actually gonna wash my face again with my special cleansing gel. As much as I love makeup, low key, y'all know this is high key the best part of the day. There's just something so satisfying about being really thorough with my skincare. I'm curious to know if I'm gonna be aging backwards with no makeup on now that I have my hair braided. Now I shall rinse. I'm gonna finish off with a daily microfoliant. I do this whenever, you know, maybe two to three times a week. Whenever I feel like my skin is getting a little dull or right before a vacation, I might exfoliate a little bit more frequently than normal. I swear I've gone through like four of these. Like I really, really like that one. That's like one of the few exfoliants that I keep going back to purchase. I'm so glad I discovered AHAs and BHAs, man.
Dermalogica, I don't know if y'all do this or not, but can you please give us travel size, girl? I think I found special cleansing gel travel size at one time and I've never seen it again since. Actually, I think I got the travel size from the warehouse. If y'all can steer me the right direction of where I can get more of those, that'd be wonderful. So I finished Invisalign a year ago, but I still have to wear a retainer at night because I obviously don't want my teeth to shift back to normal. Because I just exfoliated, I'm gonna use a gentle cleanser. I'm gonna make sure there's nothing that is exfoliating or acne treating. You just wanna use a regular gentle toner. Putting on my eye cream. Now since we just exfoliated pretty heavy, I'm gonna put on some hyaluronic acid just for the added moisture. After I exfoliate, I don't put nothing like, you don't wanna scrub your face again, you don't wanna put nothing that treats acne on after that, you just wanna keep it gentle and keep it all about moisture. And I'm adding my moisturizer, which is pretty much a heavy sleeping mask. Do any of y'all dry brush? I just started randomly doing this like a month ago off and on and I don't really know if I noticed any benefits yet, but it does feel really good if I do it first thing before I get in the shower. It's supposed to be like this ancient historical history on it and like it's supposed to like help with circulation of the blood flow and there's a bunch of different like health benefits, not just like skin, but like health benefits. Um, Maybe I just need to do it repeatedly, but I will say that it does feel really nice. Like it's not a super stiff brush. It feels really good on the skin. Now here's the thing though, when you remove your makeup properly and when you wash your face properly and, you, and when your skin is properly cleansed, everything you put on top of that is going to actually work. And you can sleep knowing you don't have to worry about staining your bed sheets because you didn't wash your face all the way. <laughs> Jokes on you. Ooh, Dermalogic will be getting me all the way right, but I'm tired, I'm going to bed. Okay, you guys, well, I've had a long day. You've literally spent the entire day. Y'all wouldn't get the hell on my face. No, I'm just kidding. I've never like vlogged into bed like this. I've vlogged coming out of bed, but not into bed. I kind of like this. As you can see, I got my satin pillowcase to protect my edges. Low key, you should really actually get a satin pillowcase. Oh, my skin feels good. Thank God for technology and my skincare routine just leveling up because girl, I used to really do some trifling stuff to my skin. Thank you again to Dermalogica for sponsoring this video. I don't know, what do you guys think of these more casual videos? Like not as in studio, like I love filming these. I love, love, love showing you guys what I do like outside of the chair. So if you're into it, let me know. If you're not, let me know. Holla, I gotta go to bed. Talk to y'all later. Bye.